ben Femke. Ik zit hier op de stoel bij Theo en ik uh, vind het heel leuk om hier te zijn. En we gaan kijken of we wat krul in mijn haar kunnen brengen en een leuk kleurtje. Dus ik heb er zin in. Oké, okay. dat is mooi. Ja. Wil je een rondje draaien? Ja. Femke komt uh, to have a perm. It's the first time her hair will be permed. And she gets a new, a nice, ja, uh, yeah, winter color. And first time modeling, also. Dankjewel. Hello friends on YouTube. Got me a model, model to perm. So, normally as you go perming the hair, um, you have to wash it. So I start by washing the hair, then I get back, gonna give her a shape of perm, because I want a natural curly hair, but I want a real curly hairstyle. And I give her a nice new cup. So start with the washing her hair, and then I'm back to show you how I use my rollers. Don't go away. Okay, wash her hair with a Cleansing shampoo, of course, takes away a lot of the grease of the hair. Now I have a short fringe. So that's the first. I'm rolling. <laughs> Normaal doe je vinger in je yeah. <laughs> tegen je mond. En dan heb je. En dan heb je vloeistof. Ja, heb je vloeistof. I'm gonna use blue shapers. What I told you, I give her. A lot of natural curls, they don't have to grow out. That's the wonderful thing about this kind of uh, perms. They go natural out. They're losing strength and then get out of the house. But tell your customer that they have to grow out. So that's also important to know because they don't disappear in, into the air. You don't see them, but they're still in. It's the same with old colors. Old colors stay always in there. And there you see the problems when you go into bleach there. And so do all hair. All the rollers are in. So now I'm gonna place my carton wig for dropping perm lotion. Oh, he is fighting against me. <laughs> she has beautiful ears. I really love ears, I always do. I find them very nice as an inspiration. And even when they're big like this, I really love them. So now I put the old uh, towel, what I did, uh, the washing bit, uh, over her shoulders and then I'm gonna apply the fluid. When I started, because it's a little bit cold, I did my fluid into my pocket, so it's a little bit warmer, so it's not that cold for her anymore. Set her head to the back a bit, start on my first roller, apply the perm lotion and do this to all the rollers and watch if you can see the fluid on top of the rollers when that's the case there's enough fluid on the roller when I have done this I cover it up with a plastic foil then I'm gonna wait for 15 minutes to control it and afterwards when all things are ready, I tell you how long it took to get her that curls that you will see in the video. Work my way up. With perm lotion you start always on top. With fixating, neutralizing you start. And the underlines. The nice thing of fluid of Keune is that it don't smell. So now all the fluid is on my hair, it's almost empty the bottle, take my plastic foil, set it in the neckline, close it on the front, give it a double knot, then take the plastic high, close it in the center, pull it to the front, find myself my plastics where I've knotted it and knotted again close this up just by spreading watch at the front how it sits take my towel and set it together on the back so now I can control it in 50 minutes. There is no uh, air going by, but mostly when there is air in the surrounding and it's 
goes from one place to the other. The part where the air comes on the uh, perm will be colder. And this is what I prevent by putting a towel over it. We'll be back. Hello, we're back. Um, the perm lotion was in for 25 minutes, then we rinse it out for 5 minutes, then fixating 5 minutes, neutralizing 5 minutes. Now I didn't do anything more than just rinsing out and uh, fixating, neutralizing of course. But um, we still have to color the hair, but before I go coloring the hair, I take away some of the length and the ends that need to be cut because I want the perm also have the, the strength of give her a curly hair effect. And I have some over length, especially in the back. So there I'm going to work on. Part hair over the center line of the skull. Knowing that the hair will certainly jump up a bit, because the curly hair mostly does, it looks uh, less long. Set my scissor on uh, 130 degrees Celsius. Turn it to you so you can see what it takes off. Brush the hair with the Olivia Garden Brush. I'll show you how the perm looks, by the way, because it's nicely curled till the under ends because they're a bit dry, but you see that the effect of the curly is nice curly hair. And it's a strong perm, but not too strong. She can really get it straight if she wants to. Softly brushing with the Olivia Garden Brush. Take the hairs from the skull bone. Nicely follow in the natural lines. And take off about a centimeter or six. Then she still can tail it, get it on the top of her head because mostly she does this. I asked her before the cut. So when she wants to tail it, she can even tail it on top. Now what you already know is that the uh, hot scissor seals the ends and most Almost every girl who has a hot uh, razor or scissor experience really loves the tool. Take the hairs up, go to my cutting line and take the cutting line up. Watch the shapes of the skull and go in the same shape. So I start below the skull bone. Take the hairs up, hold my fingers in the same line as the skull is. Ja, het is wel echt geniaal dat thermisch knippen. Ja, dat is het ook. Ik leg het maar eens uit aan andere kappers. Ja, ik snap nog niet dat niet iedereen het onder is. Nee. Maar ja, het schakel is 1000 euro, hè? Dat is ja, een andere. Ja. Do the same, of course, on this side. See what the shape of the skull is. Set my fingers in it. Travel till I get on the line of cutting. And then cut the hairs. So now I have a strong baseline, work on, work on. Watch if the natural curly effect is all in the same length, and it is. But now you see how wonderful this perm is. It's a really beautiful curly effect. So now I'm going to connect the front to it. Part it on the lines of the eyebrow bone. It's the opposite line of the chin line, mostly is. Start in the back, again watch at the natural shapes, and go up.
pull the head to the back, travel the same way to the other side and do a cross control. Take a new line on it. Starting in the back, taking my hair up, I show you that if I can show you that the angle where I take it up. So I lean my my corn on her skull bone, stay in the same line working, and then connect the lines to that line. Again, lean on the skull bone, that's my steady angle. And work up. So now I'm certain that this suits her because I copied all the lines of her skull into the hairstyle and mostly looks very nice on natural curly hair. And she really loves natural things, so yeah, that's why it suits her also. See how wonderful this perm is. I so do all her hair, of course, that I get on top. Of course, I do all this side the same. Take the hair up, watch at the eyebrow lines, go into the same line. Take a part behind this, pull it on the same line. And watch, of course, also to the perm because I have to get uh, the lines of the curls into my head, uh, my shapes. So I want the most wonderful shape there is for the curls that I just made. So now I go on top, lift the hair up, knowing that she wants a high tail sometimes, but then I can get rid of this part of the hair. It's also dry because it's from two summers ago. And the shorter the hair is, the more vibrant the curls are. When I cut the fontanelle, I work all my hairs to there. So now I'm on that line, I'll show you that from the side. So when I come to this part, I take the hairs up. Pull them to the front, get a part of my cutting line into it, find that line and connect those lines to each other. Take a new line on it, pull it to the front and there will be certainly a part where both lines connect to each other. You see how dry that part is. And when I cut it, you see how wonderful the shapes become. Because now she gets a real nice round feminine shape. This is also to the hairs on the side. Take them over to the line of cutting. Connect them to the upper hair. And so do all hair again. From the front I take only a ultra small part because I have a fringe. I don't want to take off there a lot. Connect it to the line on the sides. And now I can make her a tonal color. And she wants yeah, a bit warm in the hair, not too much. I'm gonna create hair a little bit darker so you have a yeah, new shape and a new color. This is her natural color with her not natural <laughs> curly hair. See, maybe she turns so you see how it looks. And it's a really nice perm because it's very natural. 
<laughs> so now I made her a nice uh, copper tone, a little bit darker than her own color. What I told you, it's uh, with 2%, 7 volume, so it doesn't damage the hair. Don't color first anything and just apply it on the hair and mix a little bit red into it so you get a real a rusty color. A little bit darker than our own color, but otherwise there's no change and I want a bit change. And her natural color will be back in about two months, you don't see this color anymore. Or she has to work with uh, conditioner on color based and then you can leave a color for a long, 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 long time. Especially with glint, you can make your own conditioner on color base. Now, so I said in all the hair, of course. I'll show you when I close it and tell you the time. I say, how can you find on the EV silent? E V Grieks I. Yeah. And I'll see them. Look. I'm talking about my daughter. She's doing a lot of uh, Instagram posts. And I set her name in the underline so you can see what she does. But she's also a hairdresser, but yeah, she really loves to sport. And she can really uh, can use all the support there is. So now I have all the color on her hair. Gently massage it in. It's very smooth. Don't force anything on the curly hair. So leave the curls the way they are. Because this is on the same level as fixating, neutralizing, so this uh, certainly holds the hairs the way they were put. This is close for 20 minutes, and then rinse it out, and then we're back. styling. Okay, back from coloring, rinse it out, put a little bit of conditioner on it, not more than that. Now I'm going to blow dry it with a diffuser and uh, we'll use a curl product as curls in a bottle. I use this amount. It's also protection for the blow dryer. The best thing is to don't wash the hair for about certainly two days. The perm has to set. And then you can do anything with it, what you like. And when you think the curls are too small, you can wash it two, three times after being permed. And there will be certainly softer curls. I'm going to blow dry it uh, with a diffuser and gently leave it the way it is. So if I blow drying the softness of this curl because she has really lovely curly hair now. I want to leave this in this feeling so I give her a wonderful product on her hair and the wonderful product is a diamond gloss of lint. It gives shine to the hair, it gives the curly effect more glow and it smells really really nice and it doesn't make the hair uh, hard leaves them just wonderful follow. Zou ik lekker hè? Ja. Ook niet chemisch. Nee, dit zijn ook niet chemisch. Nou, so far uh, my perm and my color for her. I thank you for being my model and thank you for watching. We see each other next video and she will certainly turn to show you the end result of her 
new curly hair. Thank you. Femme comes uh, to have a perm. It's the first time her hair will be permed, and she gets a new, a nice, uh, yeah, winter color. And first time modeling, also. Thank you.